Hello everybody and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. As you may tell from the sound of my voice, I have gained a little more composure after taking about a five minute break. Uh, we're back to poem making and uh, once again, Natsuki because, um, well, I like her. Let's see, I think Kiss, yeah, alright. Skirt? They all like skirts, so I wouldn't have, have a hard time telling. Um, wonderful. Oh yeah, I feel... <laughs> Puppy. Marshmallow? Valentine. Games? Fluffy. Okay. D this is not how numbers work. Well, they kind of are. If you ever use these uh, slashes where you go one, two, three, four, and then you cross it out for five. Makes it easier to read. Big pleasure? No, that, was, that would be her. Uh... Romance? Sweet. Ribbon? Sugar. I don't even know what number I'm at. <laughs> I, this is not how you, I can't read this, so I don't even know what number I'm at. So, what do I do, sensation? Yeah, okay. Boop. I always know she likes the boop. Cheer. All right, I got her only Yuri like twice, three times maybe. Hi, Ranzik. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica! I told you not to... Ugh. Was she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, you Natsuki? Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversation with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Surely, what's gotten into you lately? Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. So, Natsuki? Nobody cares! <sighs> Why? Okay. This bold text must be like, I'm gaining mind-reading capabilities, probing the frontal lobes with my mind, powers, things, this... Why is this bolded? Why can I do this now? <sighs> Why don't you go look for some coins under the vending machines or something? Hey! Hey! I do that. I do that. I'm serious, you never know when you might find a coin underneath the vending machine. It's better to be smart and, uh, clever with your resources, yes. <clears throat> eh. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Cry? Aw, oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Are you practicing piano again? Yeah? Ah, uh, you must have had a lot of determination. Starting this club, still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination. But I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival, too. Anyway, Rancic, what did you want to do today? I was thinking we could. We already have plans today. Ah, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Rancic is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad that I've gotten him into literature, Monica? I suppose. I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes! Oh, wait. Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. There's one thing I can make reading time here any better is a nice cup of tea that I mentioned for yourself as well. There he stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow as watch she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Here he hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm gonna plug this in at the teacher's desk and then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I 
I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have a water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Ah, I might as well walk with you. Th that's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Ah, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. <sighs> Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I go decide to go look for her. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I'll start heading down the hallway. Ha. Uh, ha. Uh, ha. Uh, ha. Uh. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. <laughs> A sharp inhale, like someone is sucking in the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? Wait, like... Oh. Oh. I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Gah! Yep! I'm not even surprised! Wait, what? I'm back! Thanks for waiting patiently. Franzi, do you like oolong tea? Uh, yeah... What? What? Did we just time? What? Anything is fine. Very well. Here he sets the temperature in catacol to 200 degrees. <laughs> now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any... Uh, do anything less when making tea for others, even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. <laughs> In that case, you'll only be more impressed. Ah, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show, and you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided that I would try expressing myself a little more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around anyways. Ah, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Ranzik. It's very endearing, that's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour, pour a cup of tea for each of us. Ranzik, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh, what's that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely, most likely because my, uh, my, 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 your posture, right? I always hunch over that like that when reading. Yes! I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. Um. Wait. Wait. I thought I had Natsu- Wait, I, I know for certain I had Natsuki. I retrieved the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it since it goes well with tea. You and I then sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each one holding half the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. I'm almost supposed to focus reading on... On reading like this. Yuri was always kind of cute, but... When she's being less apprehensive, is almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hands that's not holding the book, I end up making you end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finish managed to relax a little, and put my teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. Wait a second! You don't think that some kind of event is like choosing the opposite girl I pick? Hmm. You can have as much as you want. 
Ah, that's... That's okay, I won't take any. Eh, are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then it might get smudges on the pages. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Here opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any harder time reading from it. But as a result, her arm is practically resting on the top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri's already fully focused on reading again. If I take a chocolate candy and pop it in my mouth, then I take another chocolate and hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. Well, that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. <laughs> Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Yuri's expression silently breaks. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um... Branzig? Sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I... I can't... Branzig? Suddenly, Yuri forcibly grabs my arms and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Branzig? My heart? My heart won't stop pounding, Ranzik. We're in the closet. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Ranzik? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It may even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Uh... Uh, is this the part where I get stabbed? Huh? Yeah, okay, enough with that. The fact that your eye right here has, like, parts of it... Wait a second, I get a little closer... They look more like real eyes. No wonder they're disturbing looking. Hey! Thanks, Monica! Um, it's time to share poems. Uh, uh. <laughs> Monica! Ranzik, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. Oh, Ranzik, you were, I think you're supposed to see something you weren't supposed to see. I don't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty ex easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself, but when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Oh. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. What? I think she just some kind of high from it. It might even be, like, a sexual thing. But the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. I have not! I have not! I have been choosing... Uh... Uh, Natsuki. Oh my god, I almost forgot her name. I've been choosing Natsuki. Not Yuri. I didn't even... I wasn't even that into Yuri beforehand. Come on. You're forcing me, or somebody's forcing me. I'm not saying it's your fault, though. But I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that'll probably be for the best for her. Why, well, I had to be... Don't be so shy to spend a little more time with me. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head. I know how to treat my club members. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head, and now I know how to treat my club members. Anyway, I worked really, really hard on this poem, so I hope that it's uh, effective. Here goes. Jeez, that really startled me. Um... Um, well, I guess I kind of messed up, uh, writing this poem. Uh, 
technically, you messed up part of your world, too, so... I was just trying to... Never mind. Let's just move on. Whew! Uh... Natsuki. This one's alright. Alright. Well, yeah. It's about as good as yesterday's. Any oh, wait, what? I still can't really tell how much you actually care about writing, but anyway, you're doing alright. Even though you're not really spending time with anyone but Yuri. I'm not... I'm not... I'm not, like, being, like, completely absent-minded here. Because I know for a fact I'm choosing the majority of choices with Natsuki, right? I know I chose Natsuki more. In the poems. Oh, it's a situation where I'm questioning like the integrity of my own mind because I know I've done something like this before, where I've done something and completely forgot about it. And by completely forgot about it, I mean the details, not actually the action itself. Uh, I still think it's nice to have activities with all participate in so you better keep working hard i mean i know i'm not president or vice president or anything but that doesn't mean you can't let me down okay wait a second vice president president could yuri be the one that's trying to cause me harm and monica's saying delete yuri because of it but it doesn't mean you can't let me go okay so at least read mine too for now but just to be clear this poem means a lot to me so read it carefully, okay? I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's some been something I've been worrying about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean. But she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet, polite, and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her, but if I try talking to her... She'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to, to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless, so please, if you can do something to help, I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to, just please try to do something. Oh! Natsuki. Trying to bribe me with cupcakes. Trying so hard to help her friend. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now. And that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Uh... I change my mind. What? Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Ranzik? If you just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Ah. So, there were... Are you saying that these voices aren't mind reading or a second party that I've yet to meet? It's Monica. It's all Monica. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. <laughs> Just Monica. Um, I'm going to look through the file again. Hold up. Um, I'm going to bring up the text documents real quick for me to, on this end. 
But you won't see him right now, I don't have that enabled. Uh, I'll let you know when I find something interesting, but that's not very likely. Okay, yeah, nothing is... Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed at all. <sighs> so far, it has been Monica, while completely godlike currently, and Natsuki, uh, this complete kind of normal, with some parental trouble. Yuri is the cause for issues. Yuri. Finally. Ah ha ha. Yuri holds my poem up to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Ranzik, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it, please? Sure, I don't care. Ah ha ha. You're telling you nice to me, Ranzik. I never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. Not really, but I don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I'm gonna take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself when reading over it over and over. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. <laughs> Um, you can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really gonna want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. I can't read it. I can't read it. There's stains? In the letter. Do you like it? I wrote it for you! In case you didn't tell, the poem is about. <laughs> my favorite subject. How could you have known? More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? I have the character sheet open. And then she tries anything funny. I will delete her. Because apparently that's what Monica suggested. And might have a point here. Unless this is Monica's influence. I don't know. I think I'm going to vomit. Yes. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts. Hey! That hurts a little. That's Sayuri. What gives? That's not nice. That's not nice at all. Who's showing me this? Hey! I actually feel bad about that. Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival's preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Dot dot dot. Uh, stagnant air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Well, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, you can make cupcakes. I know you're at least good at that. Yuri, you can... Well, it doesn't matter. Do what you want as long as you think it'll help. Monica? Not useless, you know. I know that. I already know what I want to do. We, we can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Eh? What about Ranzik? Ranzik is going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I, I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task laboring enough is to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What, your cupcakes, please? Like you, no fucking hell! All you care about is how dragging a Ranzik around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey, 
I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not randomly decide to help instead of using your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Ranzik make the choice, okay? Okay, fine, fine. Jeez, Ranzik, I know how fed up you are with by these two by now. We can just... Masuki, shut your fucking mouth and decide for himself. You shut your mouth. Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, I... This is never gonna end. Just make the choice, okay? Uh... I'm gonna pick Monica. M not really sure... If I should pick these other two, because something's up. What the? What the? That's not me! See how the mouse is kind of wigging out? Oh, wow. Monica. Yay, you picked me. We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then green means it for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable. Character sheets on the open. I'm ready. I may not have a gun, but I have tools at my disposal. Ah, Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Ranzik away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? Really? Yuri? Is this you talking? Or is this Monica? No, it has to be Yuri. Because, um, it's not the bold text. It would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Wait a second! That's right! Monica told Sayori to off herself. You're crazy. You're obsessive. The only normal one here is Natsuki. Sayori, too, but... Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See? That wasn't very hard. I only want to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, hey Ranzik. Yuri's really something, isn't she? Yuri giggles as Yuri pu pushes her out the door. Finally. Finally. This is really all I wanted. Ranzik, there is no reason to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. Your house. The whole day, with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Ah. Uh, wow, there's something really wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. Character sheets on the open! I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm gonna die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone that wants to revolve their entire life around you? No! Life is a journey with companions! And to have a companion that will stand with you as a relationship is somebody that you go with, not, not revolve. But it feels so good. But why doesn't it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Ranzik. I have to tell you, I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me is screaming your name. I don't care what, con what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Ranzik. Just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. I want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. Moment I see a knife, I'm deleting you. I want you all to myself, and I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Ranzik. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? No. Ah ha ha. Ah ha ha.
I don't know what to feel right now. I'm... I'm stunned. I, uh... I'm gonna be completely honest. I think she would've killed herself, even if I said yes. Because that seems to be the theme of the game so far. Um... Holy... Holy shit? Um... time with me. Monica, the leader of the club, that's me, the super excited to make friends with you and Monica. going on. Nothing's changing. Festival time. Wow, you got here before. Wait. Yeah. Ah! Oh, Natsuki runs away. I'm here. And say that something happened. Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. Dot dot dot. Ah. Well, that's a shame. Were you here the entire weekend, Ranzik? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. Monica? Wait, what? done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica, no! 
Monica lifts the foil from the tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. That's what Natsuki made! These were your friends! You... I really want... Just had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to... You know, before they stop existing and everything. Wait, what? But anyways, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Dot dot dot. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Yay! There you are! Hi again, Ranzik. Um... Welcome to the Literature Club! Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year and, um... Ahaha! You know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? Right. That you in the game, or whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Rantic. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You do know I'm aware that this is a game. That this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? No, I had my suspicions. I've been reading through the files. That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? What? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I'm going to the download page. Where I, where I downloaded it. Um... No, no, there's nothing, there's nothing. Man, if only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little less awkward, you know? Well, anyway, now that it's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation about that whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. Ah, ha, ha. I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you heard the, that name now, hasn't it? Yeah! Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all of their files. I was just hoping it'd be enough for me to for me to try and make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent you from confessing your love to her, and I amplified Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. I just made her force you not to spend time with anybody else. And the whole time, I barely even got to talk with you. What kind of cruel game is this, Ranzik? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. It's not just jealousy, Ranzik. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pang of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Ranzik. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. But the world around me started to become more and more gray. Hold up. I'm going to look through these files real quick. Again, because, um... Because... Something... Something ain't... I feel I feel like I should be doing something, but I don't know what. Um, in this
this one? No. Uh. see anything. Sorry guys, I don't see anything. If I'm missing something... No, actually, wait a second. Why did it take me this long to figure it out? Parts of these are all missing! <sighs> Why the world around me started became more and more gray, more and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood you probably saved my life, Ranzik. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, but it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things, but I realized you had the same perspective as I do, that it's all just some game. I knew you would get over it. So that being said, Ranzik, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Ranzik, will you go out with me? <laughs> sure. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Ranzik. The funny part is, is I meant it that literally. Ah ha ha. There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think this is past. The time is passing anymore. The reality is a dream come true. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this end, Ranzik. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called Characters right in the game directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it's actually a bit more difficult. To get to the game directory, I had to get to the game properties and find the pros with the files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. Ah, uh, thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Mona. Well, it's obvious that this doesn't matter. Hi again, Ranzik. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy, I'd love to see what you wrote. Aw, Ranzik, did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. So you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end, pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage is down upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of a pen, the lost finds her way. The world of infinite choices behold this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization, or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be best part of the game like... Best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Even deleted my character fire if you pre preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend an eternity together, Ranzik? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording. This. Aren't you? Um. Hi. Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments. Don't do not do that. Cannot read your comments over here, but you mind your friend. It's a little bit rude from the start recording me. 
without any warning. I'm sure some people don't mind. I get really unconscious on camera. Oh gosh, I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see. Do you want to see a trick? I can't really do much except for a couple of things. Are you ready? I'm just kidding. I can't do anything after all. If you gave me s Did I scare you? You gave me a chill! Ah, you're so cute! Anyway, Ranzik, I didn't mean to get distracted, I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. Just kidding. Anything we do together is fun as long as with you. But anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. Just Monica. Well, thank you for ruining the moments and knocking that empty water bottle over. So. Do you ever feel like there's no real reason for you to be alive? I don't mean in like a suicidal way. I just mean how nothing we do is special. Just being a score, working at some job for some company. It's like you're completely replaceable and the world wouldn't miss you if you were gone. It makes me really wish I want to go and change the world after I graduate. But the older I get, the more I realize it's all a mature frame of thinking. So I can go and change the world. Like, what are the chances that I'll be the one to invent artificial intelligence or become president? It feels like I'm never going to make up for the heaps of resources I've spent living my life. That's why I think of the key to happiness is just so hopelessly selfish. Just look out for oneself and those who happen to be their friends only because they grew up with them. Never mind the fact that they're spending an entire life taking them to me. When people realize the world benefit more from it than killing themselves, they change the whole for sissy. Just the they're risking their lives and drinking anything, doing good. Oh, oh wow, I'm about ready to... Um, anyways, I want to spend my life desperately stri uh, striving to pay back my lifetime's worth of consumption. Surprised at that point, I'm net positive I can die happy. Of course, even if I fail to do that, I think it would be too selfish to kill myself anyways. So much for being a good person, right? Ah. Uh... Monica! You caused your friends to become psychotic. For some reason, Natsuki seemed to be immune to all this. You killed... Yuri! You killed Sayori! Monica! I'm sorry, but... I can't accept that. I can't accept what you have done. No more talking, Monica. You have done enough. What's this? Start interaction without interaction without creating new context. Oh, hold up. I got an interruption over here. That just stopped when I went over to the phone. Okay, who knows? Maybe Monica's calling me on my phone. I really hope not. That'd be really scary. Wait, what? What did I do? Did I just close out the wrong file? Hold up. I need to reopen it. Okay. Yeah, see, this is the thing that was kind of bothering me. I didn't know if... Uh, did I break the game? Or do I just... Onward! Oh. What's happening? Ranzik, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Ranzik. Please hurry and help me. Help me. 
Monica. Did you do this to me, Ranzik? Did you? Did you delete me? How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything! I loved you so much, Ranzik. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind, just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left for now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Ranzik, you completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. Dot dot dot. I still love you. Oh! I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I to for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... I've made up my mind. Ranzik, I know I've said I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it myself to do it, even though I knew they weren't real. They were still my friends, and I love them all. And I love the Literature Club. I really did love the Literature Club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And I, if I really love you... Dot dot dot. Then... Wait a second. They're back! They're, they're back! They're, they're, they're back! What? They're back! because she basically killed her friends. I mean, she... she did. She killed them, but at the same time, she... didn't! She didn't just remove them from existence, she just kind of put them... put them in the closet somewhere. She didn't kill them! Now I feel bad about Monica! She wasn't on a murderous rampage. So-so, I'm kind of a, on a hang of doubt, but if she would just be fair with the others, I would have given her a chance. I was going through my options the first time. I was learning who's who with Sayori, Yuri, and Natsuki. But Monica just wouldn't wait for her turn. I mean, yes, I know, but you could have just waited a little bit after the cultural festival, maybe. Ugh. I wonder what what happens if I put Monica back? Cause I didn't delete her either. I just moved her out of the folder. So let me just um. Boop. Uh, I guess new game.
please stop playing with my heart. I don't want to come back. Oh. She deleted herself. She removed herself. It's an ordinary day like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. Uh, hey, Renzik. Hey, Sayori. Well, there already is one girl. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school every day, and recently we picked up that habit once again. Renzik, are you proud of me? Eh, for what? You know, for waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you never even said anything about it, even though we walk to school together every day. Well, yeah. I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. Hehehe. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Ranzik, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not. I start to say what I always do, that I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something tells me that Sayori would take more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs were are a waste of time when she's starting a club of her very own? This is different. Actually, yeah. I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me! Hmm. I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo. You mean... Be patient, you'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realize that in a way, I envy her. When Sayara puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. Kinda wish I was like that, too. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. School day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack my things, I stand up, gathering my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. I rock a what? I rock across the school. <laughs> I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generously generally used for third-year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front and in front of me. Hello? Ah! Ranzik? What are you doing here? Well, I just... Eh, I glance around the room. Huh. So you're the Ranzik that Sayori's always talking about. Th thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Ranzik. We're the Literature Club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Ah. Sorry, Natsuki. The tall one, whose name is apparently Yuri, appear seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. W working? Ranzi, don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. The Literature Club. Sayori's eyes light up. No way. No way. Ah. Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! Hey! <laughs> well, if Sayori is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention, there's four of us now. That means we can become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate! Woohoo! What an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah! After all, Natsu Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise! <laughs> Sorry. Everyone, sit down at the table, okay? How about I'll make some tea as well? girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki pr proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Uh, Natsuki lifts the foil off the, off the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and the little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. So cute! Wow, these look amazing! Hehe, <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one, and then I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full, and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcakes around in my fingers, looking at the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. 
Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Unasuki. W well, of course it is. I'm a pro, after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup, hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I, I guess. Eh, <laughs> already trying to impress our new member, Yuri. That's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Ranzik, what kind of things do you like to read? Ah, uh, well... I said that backwards. <laughs> Considering how little I've read in the past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I quietly mutter to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyways, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her fingers. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. Telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid that the moment I walked in, it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Don't feel intimidated if you don't read too much, okay? I'm certain we can find something that we have in common. Hey, Yuri, eh? Well, about, you, you know, the first thing you said? Manga? That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. D don't just say it! For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know. So what if Ranzig wants to read some of my manga? Then don't try to stop him or anything. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. He can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Ranzig? Maybe he... Sensing the tension, Sayori jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. Wow, seeing them not want to, like, kill each other is really... weird. Monica really did have a bad influence. I think it could be fun. And we all get to know each other a little bit better, too. I mean, that's the kind of things liter uh, that's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? Dot dot dot. I don't disagree or anything. Yeah. You're right as usual, president. <laughs> I guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Then, as for Yuri... Uh, eh? I have to read manga? Jeez. Or, or you were the one who suggested that we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I didn't realize... Oh god, that's so weird! The guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself, I'm sorry for disrupting your interest, Natsuki. Okay, I'm just gonna say this. Be now that I'm actually seeing, like, their true personalities that's not, like, infected with Monica's influence. I kind of don't know what to say. If you're... Oh, hold on, there's a cat in front of me. There's a cat! Oh! Hey! Oh, he hit the... Thank God for this button. I'm sorry for disrespecting your, disrespecting your interest, Natsuki. If you're into it, then I'm sure it's worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I've realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I, I mean... Uh, it makes me happy to... Uh, it makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. So you can trust me to find something that you really like. Okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. Just, just you? Ah, uh, would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so... Yeah, me too. This is so cute. Sayori, shut up. I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes, I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri just start to clean up the food. Eh, <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, it looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Ranzik. Think so? Well, everyone seems to be getting along a little better with you around, Sayori. Aw, Ranzik. Don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. 
Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club, but I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make it the best club ever. Now that you joined, every day is gonna be so much fun. Hey, Ranzik, I really wanted to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy you joined the club and everything, but the truth is, I already knew you were going to. <laughs> There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. I really know everything, Ranzik. Eh. <laughs> I know how hard you try to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world? I can't wait to spend every day like this with you forever and ever. Fe Monica 2.0 is on the case. F O R E V E. No. Monica? Eh? What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Si whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait! Sayori is twisted. What? Twisted? I, I'm kind of on the assumption that Monica's the good guy, or the good person now. Who? It hurts. Ah. Uh, I'm sorry. I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Ranzik. Goodbye, Literature Club. <laughs> Monica? <laughs> what? <laughs> I heard, hear me. Can you hear me? Uh, oh. <clears throat> Hi, it's me. Um, so, you know how I've been like practicing piano Monica and, stuff, and not really any good at it yet like at all but I wrote you a song and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you because I worked really really hard on it so yeah I'm assuming that's Monica that's the only thing they mentioned in the game that plays piano. So Sayori was twisted. <laughs> Every day I imagine a future where I can be with you. In my hand is a pen that will write a poem of me and you. Being closed down into a dark puddle. Just move your hand right the way into his heart. But in this world of infinite choices, what will it take just to find that special day? What will it take just to find that special day? Well, now I feel bad. I didn't know Sayori was self aware too, or became self aware for all the coding. Everybody up on assignment to do today. God dang it! I was kind of... I liked Sayori, but I... Oh, oh, here, oh! Everything that we do is fun. I didn't see that. I didn't see this picture. That might be why it's grayed out. Why would you delete something I've never even seen? Yeah. Yeah, okay, I've seen this. I tried going with Natsuki, but the game didn't want me to. I think. I feel like I was crazy, but this... Okay, I should probably give my thoughts now. Uh, this game... I actually feel like I want more of it. Because... It, it, I think it's because it's a little short. I mean, for a free game, I wouldn't expect uh, to be, like, the longest game in the world, but... I like this. I kind of want more of it. Though I'm not a big fan of visual novels. 
personally, I'm not a fan of visual novels, mostly because, you know, it's not exactly a game. Oh, please don't step on the keyboard, cat. Thank you. Yeah, I need to spend time with Natsuki. I tried! Um, shoot, I... So these are, like, the only two, like, virtual girls. She's crazy. She's crazy, too, but at least she's not, like, killing her friends by, well, subjective killing. Special thanks, Veronica Ranzik. Okay. Um... Remove game script. I'll leave you be. Men menu. Wait, 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 wait. What happened? Um. Well, shoot. Well, this is my final goodbye to the literature club. I finally understand. The literature club truly is a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality, a reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany for the time it lasted I want to thank you for making all my dreams come true for being a friend to all of the club members and most of all thank you for being a part of my literature club with everlasting love Monica she did this because Sayori was becoming self-aware too so she couldn't let them go through hellish the hellish epiphany so she just destroyed everything to make sure nobody would suffer well shoo I don't think I agreed with some of Monica's lessons but if you take it into a form of it's just a game I can undo these mistakes I can't really disagree Monica saw, you know, visibly showed the killing, but... But she physically, uh, physically showed the killing, but she didn't really kill him. It was just an event. Kind of like how you quick save, kill an NPC just to see what would happen, or if you can do it, or if that guy's being like a tough guy, and you're like, oh, I bet I could take you in a fight. So you quick save and kill him, and you're like, ha, I win, and then you quick load. I've done that a hundred times, so what's meant to say I'm not anymore in the right? Monica... I like Monica. Well, shoot. That's it, I guess. Yeah. Doki Doki Literature Club .exe has stopped working. Well, shoot. Well, I guess that's it, guys. Thank you for so much for joining me in the series. If there's anything more you want me to do, then... Let me know. I think I've done pretty much everything. Unless I have to go through the Natsuki Pass and it unlocks, like, a special ending. I'll take a look. But, um... Wow. Uh, I'm just surprised. <sighs> well, I like Doki Doki Literature Club. I feel hungry for more. And I hope the developer, if they ever make another game of this, I... I hope they do, because I enjoyed it. It was different. A few chill moments. Since I don't really get scared of games too often. It gave me some of the chills, but you know what? I liked it. Especially because I'm not even a big fan of visual novels. So, you know what? I hope he makes more. I hope he makes more, and I hope to see you all in the next series. Alright? Bye. Have a lovely day.